This is a story about a baby Mario and Yoshi. A story that took place a long, long time ago. A stork hurries across the dusky pre-dawn sky. It is Bill. He carries a pair of brothers. Suddenly, a shadow appears in a gap between the clouds and races towards the stork with blinding speed. Screech. The babies are mine. Whoa! Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. Into the darkness from whence it came. The second baby falls undetected toward the open sea. Well, shit. Oh no. Meanwhile, down on Yoshi's Island, home to all Yoshis. It's a lovely day, and Yoshi is taking a walk. Huh? Suddenly, out of nowhere, a baby falls onto his back. Fortunately, the baby seems to be just fine. Well, something else fell along with the baby. Let's take a peek. It looks like a map. Maybe the store was using it. Yoshi can't figure out this strange situation. He decides to talk to his friends about it. Ak! Exclamation. Kamek, the evil magic hopper who kidnapped the baby. Quickly dispatches his gang of nasty toadies. When he discovers that he missed the other baby. Yoshi casually heads back to the other Yoshis. Completely unaware of the dangerous close at hand. Well, dang it. Kabak's forces are actively searching the island. Will the two brothers ever safely reach their parents? <laughs> nah, they did. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Toga Lover here for Super Mario Advance 3 Yoshi's Island. Uh, for the people that are actually familiar with Yoshi's Island, you will see that yes, I am playing the GBA version. Um, I'm gonna probably come back to that a little bit, uh, but for now, let's just jump into this. Marvels. Well, <laughs> I might actually play that sometime, but now is not the time. Now is the time. Yoshi's Island. Oh, 1995. How, how lovely of a year that is. <laughs> oh, and the Yoshis are standing around in a circle. <laughs> Welcome to the court of Yoshis. You stand before us accused of mauling an innocent Yoshi. Welcome to Yoshi's Island, a paradise where all the Yoshis live. They are all in an uproar over a baby that fell from the sky. I have the solution, let's throw him in the lake <laughs> and forget all about this. Wait, it seems as though the baby knows where he wants to go. The bond between the brothers tells each of them where the other one is. The Yoshis decide to carry him to his destination via a relay system. And so begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and Baby Mario. <laughs> God, what's that awkward breathing in there? Ugh. I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> God, I'm actually really, 
really stoked to play this game because I'm I'm a really big fan of this game because I think <laughs> welcome to Yoshi's Island. Uh, if a baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. When it reaches zero, Cabbage toys will swoop in and kidnap baby Mario. The more stars, stars you collect, the safer you will be. Once baby Mario is safe, the time will count. Oh my god, so much, so much exposition. Um, yeah, this was actually, uh, well, it, it wasn't my first game, per se, but it was my first, <laughs> my first non-Pokemon game, I think. Yeah. I think it actually was, well, now that I think about it. Uh, oh, god. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you, if you can't tell already, this is, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a casual playthrough. This isn't gonna be, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I have uh, played this before, as uh, as you could probably uh, imagine from me saying that I uh, the, the special flowers. I'll explain everything later. I'll, I won't explain all that now. Uh, but yeah, I have played this game before, but <laughs> it's been like eight years probably since I really played it. Like I've I've probably like picked it up, uh, like sometimes in between that, but, uh, yeah, this is gonna be, oh, fuck, fuck, god damn it, usually I can get through at least the first date without losing my, ba my babe, <sighs> oh, well. yeah, so, uh, you'll probably, you will probably see me making a couple of mistakes along the way, because I'm, uh, a little out of training, but <laughs> I think I think I remember most of the game, so it probably won't be a problem. Oh, oh. Unle uh, unless I do it's a st stupid sh shit like that. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't decide if I wanted to say stuff or shit, so it becomes sh 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 stuff. Uh, I haven't, I haven't really recorded anything, or at least like myself talking in like freaking forever. Like uh, I have done, because uh, <laughs> this is probably just gonna be the first uh, let's play that's gonna be on this channel, uh, or it's gonna seem like that. But I have actually done let's plays before this. Um, not very successfully, I might add, but still, I have done it before. Uh, <laughs> but I haven't done that in so long. <laughs> so, uh, these first couple episodes, probably gonna be a bit rusty, but, you know, it's, it's probably gonna be okay. You know, you know, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm pretty used to talking to myself alone. In my apartment. That's so lovely. <laughs> uh, nah. It's fun, you know, just just sitting down and just, you know, playing some video games and having fun. And cause this this really is a very just fun game. Like, <laughs> well, okay, I say that, but uh, it is, I'm probably gonna rage a lot at the end, because contrary to how it looks right now, uh, it is, this is a very, this is kind of a difficult game. Like, I was, uh, I'm actually, like, looking back at it, I'm actually kind of surprised that I was able to <laughs> complete this game. Or, well, <clears throat> I didn't complete it, per se. Uh, I definitely did not complete it, uh, like, 100% it. Uh, but I did actually beat like the final boss and everything so <laughs> looking back at it I'm like holy mother effing Jesus how did I even Ooh, and we, that was all 20 right coins yeah I, I guess I should probably explain that for the people that I've haven't played this game yet uh, you collect in this in the stages five flowers 20 coin 20 red coins and try to get 30 stars um, by getting all that in a stage, you have effectively completed it. <laughs> but, uh, 
seeing as this is a ca is a casual playthrough, uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm probably not gonna 100% the game. Uh, although I, it would be kind of a fun challenge to do, or not really, well, okay, it would be a challenge, but like it would be kind of fun to do because I've never actually 100% this game before. Um, <laughs> well, we're off to good stars. <laughs> Uh, well, I can promise you it's not gonna be that easy. <laughs> the remainder of the game. <laughs> the remainder of the game. Uh, and here we we see the uh, the relay system working its magic. Watch out below. <laughs> God, I remember when I first played this game when I was a kid. This was actually legitimately kind of scary. <laughs> like. Fucking gigantic balls of doom and death and destruction just rain down from the heavens. Like, oh, mmm. Shit. <laughs> uh, I remember it took me a long time to actually get through that. Like, that, that there, that little stretch there probably took me like two hours to do the first time. Oh, but. I've, I've risen up. I've learned my lesson. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is the middle ring for this level. You can continue here. <laughs> cool. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. I appreciate it. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, yeah. Um. A quick little uh, thing before I forget about it later. Uh, I'm actually kind of gonna extend a little thank you to two very special people, uh, my good friends Marie and Stina. Uh, fuck, I yeah, okay, I said my name right. The thing is, like, when you have Norwegian names and you try, it, like, some of them, like Marie, is okay, that is okay because like it translates pretty easily to English because it's. It's a name that originates in France, so it's easily adaptable into English. But names like Stina, it's like, like right there, I said it with a Norwegian intonation, which makes it a little bit easier. But if you, <laughs> that's a real problem. Like if you have a Norwegian name, like you have to change the intonations from the Norwegian to the English and back again. No, not from English to Norwegian and back again. And uh, oh, it get, it gets kind of confusing, at least for me. Because uh, I'm really scatterbrained. <laughs> so yeah, a big thank you to Marie and Stina because they actually kind of spawned this. Because they were like, "Dude, you should really start up your Let's Plays again." Because it would be hilarious to hear you fail at video games. <laughs> so a big thank you to you two. Uh, I probably you're probably really angry that I didn't thank you <laughs> at the very start, but screw you. Press select to display your score. To use special items, use blah and blah. Um, uh. To choose an item and press A. Uh. To exit, press B. Uh. Cool. Neato. Burrito. Wait a minute. Is it? Oh. Sometimes when Yoshi jumps, it kind of looks like his, like, mouth is extended really, really. Like, is that just me? Is that a... <laughs> Am I just really stupid? <laughs> or is that a thing? Please, tell me I'm not stupid. <laughs> Although, I probably am, so... Yes. <laughs> Yoshi, please. <laughs> Yoshi, Snella. Nay. Oh, oh my god. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh. At least this this version of the helicopter isn't too bad. It's, <laughs> but it just bring up a point that I kind of don't like about these kind of games. Uh, this is kind of just my personal thing, and it's like, I okay, I'm not gonna be a stupid idiot and say like, oh my god, I have like like OCD or something, but I, like I have the kind of annoyance that everybody gets. Like, everybody gets kind of annoyed when something is not complete. Even... Anyway. Everybody gets kind of annoyed when they can't complete something. Like, I think that's pretty human, actually. Like, 
I'd, I'd wager that most human beings get that kind of feeling when they can't complete something. And that's why I, why I usually don't like these kind of games, because I feel like I have to search every nook and cranny to kind of get everything. Like, right now I have a nagging feeling in my stomach, like, I don't think I got everything. I think I, I think I missed something. When in all reality, I'm pretty sure I did get everything, so... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! Mmm, mmm. Oh, 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 what was that? Oh, do we... We did get everything, so... Uh, oh, well, we probably got everything. Did we? Yeah! <laughs> well, how about that? <laughs> well, ain't that just magical? <laughs> well, ain't it magical, y'all? <laughs> and we made it to the goal, and everything is good in the world. <laughs> Yay, bonus! Oh god, this game is just so fucking cute. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like, if, it, if, it, if this game is anything, it is so adorable. <gasps> we got a one up! Yay! How magical! Scratch and match, get one ups. Scratch three boxes, and cover Mario's to gain one-ups. Scratch all. And yeah. <laughs> I've actually never, throughout my whole Yoshi playing career, ever have I gotten the five up. I've gotten the one up. I've gotten the two up. But never in my entire life have I actually gotten the five up. And I was really hoping I was gonna reverse jinx myself there, but oh well, two two up is pretty good. But I'm, I'm still kind of frustrated that I've never actually gotten the five up. Like I want to do that at least once in my life. I want to feel accomplished. Um, but yeah, 17 minutes. Damn, <laughs> fucking 17 minutes for the first two stages. Well, at least I 100%ed them. I, I feel kind of good about that, at least. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna cut it short here. And uh, yeah, in the next time, in the next. <laughs> See y'all later.